We are so proud and happy to be hosting this today right here in the land of a thousand hills. Rhonda. For the 25 competitors coming from Ghana, Kenya, Liberia, Morocco, Rwanda, and Uganda, congratulations on your hard work and the opportunity to compete with the other African countries. So ladies and gentlemen, join with me to welcome our Minister of Education, Dr. Eugene Mutimura. And there is no wealth or richness than the strength that can be brought about by building the skill set for the youth. But as we grow, we are able to be self-sustaining. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to officially open the Skills Competition Africa 2018 open, and I thank you for your attention. We are here to compete against the standard. That's what we want. We want to achieve all countries to be at that standard. We have cooking, hairdressing also, and the technical skills like electrical wiring, welding, plumbing, mechatronics, bricklaying. When you see the person trying to show what he or she can do, is very amazing. The skill level from day one was very high. We turn up the heat in the kitchen and see whether the competitors can take the heat. I wish the good luck for all the teams. This competition is going to change the mindset of the people and what I'm expecting, we are going to win. I'm a girl and I come here today and I participate and I'm so proud. I want to say to other girls, don't be scared, just try and love what you do. Never be afraid. I want all the other girls and women to be able to see and realize that they can be anything they want to be. And as long as you work hard, you can, you can do anything you want. So that you can improve your skills in normal life and develop your country. And when they come back from a competition like World Skills, the level of education, the level of the skill just continues to grow. One day they will be guiding someone along the line to improve the country. Look around your life, the house, the chairs, the buildings, and the whole world would not exist without skills. Skills are the engine of the economy in any country. Skills do matter. Skills change lives. So recognize your skills today and be a part of the change. When you look at building up a society, you need technical people to do so if you want to have a fruitful and a bright future. This kind of education is important for millions of young people here in Africa and creating progress for the whole society, for the whole continent. What has happened here has been great. It's a good foundation to build on. The first time you're doing this here, but it's, uh, it's impressive. The results, they are quite good. It has been amazing to watch. The more we are joining force together, the better it is, because we can reach more together. Education is the key to everything in life. If you want to be successful, you must be willing to go the extra mile, work hard, and yeah, take a skill. It's all about skills, world skills.